What's up guys, I'm Raven and I'm back and this is Vex. It's an original Xbox game. The best way I can describe it is that it's a very dark version of Super Mario 64. Now I have played a little bit into it. I have never actually beaten the game. But, yeah. I think the storyline is better. It began anew when the shadow rates descended on the peaceful village of Overwood. Dark shall hear that the shadow men strode the defenseless villagers before them, save the ancient guardian of Overwood Vargas and his grandson, Vex. To find him without numbers, Vargas and Vex could not stand against Yabu's dark power and were bound in chains with the others. They were forced to toil in the labyrinth of tunnels surrounding their village. Lays. Beaten by word and whip, Vex endured until his rage became unbearable. He lashed out, attacking his oppressors, but was stopped by the very shadows that answered Yahoo's call. Vex would have died then, were it not for the sacrifice of his grandfather. Enraged, Yahoo turned his powers on Vargas and showed no mercy. After nightfall, Vex escaped the caves and made his way into the heart of Yabu's windship, intent upon destroying the race. Fate, however, would grant him not revenge, but fortune. The legendary Astani War Tower. Unable to destroy the powerful artifacts, Dark Yabu had hidden them away for years, fearful that they might fall into enemy hands. to him forever, and his fate to that of all a star. Now at this point I'm pretty sure it's the claws talking to him. That'd be neat to have. Imagine if Mario had claws like that. Bowser wouldn't fuck with him anymore. He'd be like, no, you can have your bitch of a princess who never gives it, puts out for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, keep her. See, this is just a tutorial. It'll go by pretty fast. Yeah, I haven't been playing recently, 
due to the fact that my um my old I lost my old Xbox or my 360. So all the games I had for it I had to sell. So yeah, so I was going through all my old Xbox games and I found this and I'm like, I remember this. I remember hating it as a kid. I mean it's not the fact that it's um not fun, but it's incredibly hard. Not the gameplay in itself, just how you get things or progress through the levels, because it acts just like Mario does. As you can see, um You got several combos you can use in combat. And uh, a lot of the times, the combos you use help you get to platforms that are too hard to get. So, it is a platforming game more, along the, more than it is a uh, beat em up. But, it's fucking hard. It's a hard game. Anyway, those are the things you're collecting. You don't have to collect heart or stars. You collect hearts, the hearts of your enemies. Yeah, this game's dark. I mean, this game's like mucho dark. Anyway, after collecting like a hundred of these, you get a heart. Um, in the different worlds you go to, I will not be collecting all 100 little pieces due to the fact that I'm pretty sure if you got this game, you would be able to do that immediately. It's not exactly hard. Um, I'll be doing every mission, including finding the jars, because they do hide them in different locations. Um, yeah. These are the jars of, um, filled with the souls of past warriors like yourself. And after collecting six, you can get a Wraith Heart. And the Wraith Heart has, like, unlimited power in it or something like that. So it allows you to power this, like, nexus of worlds so that you can pass through each one. You have done well. Beyond this door lies the world in which you alone must use what you have learned to achieve your purpose. Take heart. For the measure of a person lies not in how one deals with the easiest situations, but rather in what you do when faced with the most hopeless of circumstances. Ah, back among the living, I see. You're a stout one, aren't you? When I found you, I thought you're dead, so I brought you here. This chamber is and he where is the like the sexiest guy too. in this game. Cursed yep. things nearly cut my hands off as I carried you here. Sexiest and most Yahoo awesome guy in the, the game. Everyone is gone except you and old Darby. I'd love to get my hands on that soul sucking monster, but old Darby can't see so good no more. But you, you could stop him before he opens the door to his world. You could get to the land spire before it's too late. If he opens the rift again, those demons will destroy what little remains of Astara and all of us with it. Then there'll be nothing to stop the wraiths from using the rift to destroy other worlds. It'll have to be you, my boy. Darby can't go with you, but I know an old trick. I can talk to you like this. Head on outside. 
that can get you started on your way. Anyway, before you leave this room, what you should probably do is jump on the fire to get up to the ledge. And there's a life right here, so... And then at the other end of the room, there's a little portal thing. Go in that to get this. It allows you to use something called Molten Rock Armor. And it's just it just helps you activate like a special ability. And that's all we have time for. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.